Hello, Terra and Astro aficionados. How has September been treating you? September kicked my ass. And it's not over yet. I'm here, having a beer, relaxing after a day of training. September, we've had Mercury retrograde. We've had two eclipses in Virgo. Virgo kicks your ass. And I have five planets in Virgo, so I had a lot of ass kicking going on. Uh, the good news is, is that Jupiter has moved from Virgo into Libra. And so that should be a breath of fresh air for us all. Uh, Jupiter is a little happier in Libra than it is in Virgo. So, uh, and also it will be focused on justice and relationships. So for each of your individual signs, I'll talk a little bit about how Jupiter might affect your sign. And hopefully what's up for you for the next year because it takes Jupiter a year to move through uh, a whole sign so we have a year of Jupiter in Libra happening and it will be sextile Saturn instead of square Saturn which means it'll be getting along with Saturn rather than fighting with Saturn so that's good news I'm hoping for some good news because like I said uh, September kicked my ass this whole year has kicked my ass so We'll see how it turns out, and look forward to your forecast. You put it in a ponytail. Pony Harry. Happy October. Right, so, yeah. You, Harry, so we don't have So, seventh house is the house of relationships, whether it's, you know, uh, partnership relationships, romantic relationships, or business relationships, or anybody you know we have a relationship So, what I want to say about that is, just because Jupiter is in your seventh house, doesn't mean you're going to have a relationship So, you're going to expand whatever it is you have around relationships. So it's kind of the same concept of when someone wins the lottery, a lot of nice people end up being broke within a very short period of time. Because winning the lottery doesn't it doesn't change their relationship with money. So it just magnifies it. So whatever if they have a bad relationship with money and money always seems to slip through their fingers, winning a lottery just makes that happen faster and in a bigger way. So the bigger, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I, you know, I, I hate to be, I don't want to be a downer, because maybe this is the beginning of a relationship. Because if you've been doing the work, then, then you're able to clear yourself of past issues, then this could be the year. But if it's not, like I said, I don't want to have you all, this the right or this right, when it's, it's not, not a good to clear your crap. So, uh, now that I've depressed you, let me go on to your tarot reading. Um, you've got four swords out of five cards. You've got four swords in this round card. So, um, starting out, when somebody else had this in a starting out card, the nine of swords, like I said, a lot of people were pissed. They're just really pissed and they're out for blood right now. And I'm one of them, so I, you know, I can relate. I mean, after this last eclipse, I was curious. Absolutely furious about about my job and like, somebody at my job. Like, you know, out for blood. Out for blood. So you're out for blood about something. Okay? Um, the deal here with the Seven of Swords is... Uh, it's like you're wanting a plan or you're needing a plan. So... Um, you know, like this this energy is so kind of wild and then it's, maybe this is saying like, well, if you actually had a plan, you might actually be able to move forward, but since you're just having a fit and just expecting things to come out of thin air, it's not happening. Or it could be your bad because somebody else didn't have a plan and now they messed you up. They messed you up big time. So, not sure exactly how that, you know, how that is working, but 
them. That's what we've got. That's what we've got. We've got four planning on somebody's car, and now it's an emergency on your part, or it was your fault. We didn't plan. Wait for anybody to tell you. This card is saying, um, you know, this is a timeout card, and we've got this is a timeout card. So these are on the polarities of what's above you and what's below you. So it's time to take a break. It's time to back up and uh, take another look. So you need to like calm down, take a deep breath, and count to ten. Okay, because this card is saying you need to be more objective. Like things are getting better, so calm down. Uh, but you need to be a little more object objective, and you need to be a little more experimental. Like if one thing doesn't work, try something else. If it kind of work, try to figure out what kind of works and amplify that. Or if it totally didn't work, throw it out and start so try something else. Uh, this card is saying give yourself a break. Take a break. For some reason, I'm feeling like don't be so hard on yourself with this one. Don't be so freaking hard on yourself, okay? It's just, I, I just feel like there's been a lot of impatience and demanding and things should be this way and uh, you're taking it out on yourself. So just calm down. Like I said, take a deep breath, count to 10, back up, and reassess. Um, for your final card, you've got the strength card. So this is letting you know that you have the strength and the courage. And, um, you know, I think you're going to have to come overcome some demons here um, and some dragons. So you know, identify you know what 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 it what set this whole thing off. I mean, was it, was it, it, and it all has to do with thought processes, so was it kind of like this thought process, like since I didn't pull it off, that makes me a failure, or uh, since this person didn't do what I wanted to, that means I'm unlovable, or so, there's something, there's something to do with like, you've got, you've got a demon that follows you, and so it's kind of like, you need to slay the dragon. So, um, you know, Aries, if nothing else, has a lot of courage, so you've got that on your side, so, you know, move forward and find out who the real enemy is here, and, uh, you might have to forgive them. So, that's my reading for you, I know this is like, this is like not a very happy, positive reading, but, um, I gotta give it to you straight, uh, and, you know, you can, you can move forward with this and clear it in October. And then be ready for something in November. So, let me know how it works out for you.